I counted up and have discovered that this is the 10th benefit recital that Three Sopranos have given for Be Safe, which is the Bishop's Summer Academic Fund Enrichment Program. It's a program begun by St. Stephen's Youth Programs in the South End to support children who, um, for whom the summer is uh, an opportunity to, to um, maintain their level of learning and engage and continue to learn when they would otherwise not have those opportunities. It also is the, it has been, and maybe still is, the largest employer of teenagers in the city of Boston as a, as a day camp program. It's very near and dear to our hearts, and we support Be Safe every year by providing meals and resources for field trips and general support, supportive operating kinds of uh, expenses. And I'm going to say more about how you can donate to be safe, but right now I want to introduce Gail Abbey and Margaret Johnson and Shannon Larkin. It is a sign of returning well-being that they're here with us today. Thank you so much for doing this. Hello, can you hear me now? <laughs> that was Lift Thine Eyes, a delightful little a cappella trio that happens in the middle of Mendelssohn's huge symphonic with a large chorus piece, Elijah. <clears throat> and I think it's interesting that it, he uses such small forces to say, look to the Lord. In, in, in a sense, be not afraid. <laughs> and the next piece we're going to do is called Contemplations 8 and 9. It's from a, the text is from a series of contemplations written by Anne Bradstreet, who's known as uh, the American colony's very first published poet. She was one of the original 
Puritan settlers, I think in what is now Ipswich, that's where she lived. And fairly late in her life, she wrote this collection of 33 contemplations, which um, are observations uh, that come from her thinking about her faith and observing the world around her. And the composer, Hilary Tan, uh, was born in Wales, and she now lives in the Adirondacks. She shares with Anne Brant's Bradstreet a love of nature, and a lot of her um, focus is on nature. She composed this piece for Capella Clausura for Anne Bradstreet's 400th anniversary. Um, and Clausura is a local organization directed by Amy LeClaire. Um, and I just want to say, <laughs> I'm saying too much, but <laughs> this is such an amazing piece. She uses, she combines Anne Bradstreet's poetry with the words of Psalm 148, which is, praise him all his angels, praise him all his hosts, both in Latin and in English. And there's lots of awe in this, but the ahs are not the usual accompaniment, not the usual to fill out the harmony. The ah and ah is in Bradstreet's poetry, and it's just the, um, when there aren't words regarding nature.
Thank you. On? Yes. Um, our next piece is Ego Flos Campi by Jacobus Clemens Non Papa. Um, there's not much to say about Jacobus Clemens Non Papa, except that his last name is a bit of a joke. Um, it just means Clement who wasn't the Pope, uh, even though the Pope had died long before he was born. Um, but the, the serious thing about this piece is the text. I am the flower of the field and the lily of the valley. As a lily among thorn bushes, so is my dear one among the maidens. As an apple tree among other trees in a wood, so is my beloved among young men. angels. <laughs> On? Yes. So our second to last piece is by Thomas Wilkes. Thomas Wilkes, and it's called The Nightingale. Um, Wilkes was a writer of madrigals and of service music for the Church of England, I guess is what you call it. No, what would you call it? I don't know. Anyway, um, he wrote a lot of service music too, in addition to these lovely madrigals. And this one uh, is about birds, as you will hear. Oh, 
So this is a time when I'm going to ask you for money. And if you're anything like me, you've already given, many of you have already given to support Be Safe, and now I want to give even more because I've just heard your voices and I feel inspired. So I'm going to put a basket at the bottom here for anyone at the bottom of the steps. For anyone who would like to donate cash or a check, um, other ways to donate are online. Um, the other ways to support Be Safe are through the raffle that uh, we are offering dinner for up to six people at the 200-year-old home of Peggy and Jim Bradley in Charlestown. Date and um, time to be negotiated with them. And their drawing will be next Sunday at the parish picnic. You do not have to be present to win. Ticket sales are in the parish hall. You can use Cash App. My guess is if you go to the button that right below the button that led you to this live stream, if you are watching at home, um, there's a button for how to donate. And Kevin just put his thumb up, so that means that's true. I'm telling you the truth. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for those of you who are here on live stream. We are so grateful. to say one more thing. In the Elijah story, the voice of God is heard in the voice of a little girl. The bat kol is the echo of a voice or the daughter of a voice. And the reason that Mendelssohn put that trio right in the middle unaccompanied is it's because those sopranos are the voice of God. And that's what you are for us today.